right, what is up you guys, and welcome of course to, well, you know the battle versus Top and uh, his pet rats. This is actually one of the strongest team based opponents I've faced so far. And while he is 05, trust me, this is a team I struggle with. And, um, you know, inherently I will continue doing so. Oh, right, we we'll see Salasal, Ferrothorn, alright, Zatu, Royal Charm. Um, Chinchino, which is something I did fear. Chinchino is really good for this matchup. And, uh, Halucha. So, right, I'm starting, like, what Pokemon did I, like... I was a little hoping Slassel didn't make it, but besides that, you know, this, that's, that's the team. Halucha, Chinchino, Farfawn, all makes sense. Um, bit surprised not to see God of War. Um... So rather kick myself for not bringing um, chlorophyll variant of Whimsicott, but yeah, I think that's the only Pokemon I'm surprised not to see. Uh, now my lead here should be Jum Jum. We'll take it from there. Also, really surprised not to see Sableye, as that was a Pokemon I was inherently struggling with. So I was kind of wrong when it comes to this matchup. So we'll see how much that gonna punish me. I'm actually kind of oh, yeah. Sableye is definitely a big one, isn't it? I was convinced I was gonna see that one. And Mamoswine, where is Mamoswine, right? Starts off with Totem. Um, right, my easiest play is U turn directly. I think we bait in. Uh, or I think we are baiting in. Uh, Fairthorn. Really, he loses nothing by standing, I guess. Let's find out. I mean, Flare Blitz in, is inherently really free, but... I mean, at what cost, right? <clears throat> and we're Admin Scoff, by the way. Since we're all speeding God of War and... Uh, right, with draws. Um, to Dad. Boot. Yeah, that, that was nice. Fair play. Um... I don't see a timer, do I? Do we have this game again where we don't have a time? Yo, no. You. You. Right, bringing skulls. Getting these ship on road trim is like super important. And uh, we U-turn here, right? I think is. Biggest play is going Therathorn Highwood. There's some decent damage there. Basically, I believe Energy Ball takes him out, so I think Therathorn is like his easiest switch in, as we have nothing to um, damage him with. There it is. So, yeah, you turn again. Like this. Um, Iron Bob's, of course. Yeah, I, I'm the loser in this scenario. Um, uh, and I can't bother press just yet now, can I? Bringing Erasure and uh, we're gonna taunt. Something I am fearing is a body press. If he has body press, then you know more power to him. It's something I, like I said, feared. But at the same time, I don't want to bring in Necro Reducer now that I don't have that with Taunt. I actually optimize for Dazzly Lean for Sableye. And uh, that puts me in a spot, clearly. So with that said, yeah, he switches out actually. 
goes to Mustang. Cool. Well, here's the thing, though. Like, you can't do anything, anything versus Necro Medusa. So we switch that in, then we go for Shadow Ball. So a bit of a slow place from the beginning, you know, my team is inherently somewhat passive and I know he has hard defined switch-ins. So that's will clearly one of them. Right, switches out, fair play to dad boob. Cool. I'm sending in Necromedusa. Now I do believe his play should be Volt Switch. This is awful. This was not what I wanted. Um, ah, the stress levels. No, he should Volt Switch. So we're going to take this Volt Switch and Strength Sap back. Willow! Huh. Okay. That was a weak play. Um, <sighs> Took too long to make that call too. Not a big fan of um, of Rotom right now. I haven't seen anything from Ferrafon yet, um, but like I said, I believe he's gonna go for uh, a Volt Switch here. He could go for a second Willow, which would be awesome. Yeah, there we go. Like, that makes sense. So that's gonna nerf my leftovers. That's alright. Um, now, the question here is whether I go directly for an Energy Ball. I'll do that, even though for a phone, like I said, there is the switch in, and uh, <clears throat> oh, it's tough actually, it's really tough. Right, that switch out goes to your side, the fair phone, and um, energy balls you do just about no damage. And he should be back to full. Have you ever felt defensively shaked? Because this is how that feels. Bring in Zar, and um, we'll see what his series of plays really are. He has. He potentially has knockoff. That's something I kind of fear. Um, Because basically, they knock off spikes, I guess, and um, power whip, jar ball. There we go. So that's cool. That's very non-threatening, I guess. Um, should go for one iron defense. We'll see what he wants to do. He does switch out directly to Salasal. 
Troll Tram, that's far too. So inherently I think he thought I was gonna go for Stealth Rocks. This is a jar wall for us. He could have Heat Wave. And that should do around 30%. Call mind. All right. Let's see how much does this jarball do. Plenty. Plenty. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of forced to take this heat wave. <coughs> Shadow ball. All right, that's that's all right. Ugh, I mean it's not pretty, but we had Sado out of the way, which is great, I guess. Let's see, bronze song. The way I see it, though, like Celestial comes in for free. Um. Halucha can't KO, Chinchino can't KO. But this is the guy that makes sense. Um, and this time we send in Rhyperior as really the we have our we are out of options when it comes to make solid plays. I'm just glad Bronson is somewhat somewhat alive. And Sato wasn't the biggest threat, but the exchange was kind of fair. Um, that, that, that was kind of rough, wasn't it? Sato, it was clearly a threat the way you designed to do it, but uh, it worked out for us. As we can potentially recover back. Uh, but we still need Salaslo out of the way. Salaslo is clearly one of the main threats here. Uh, Flamethrower, that's alright. Like I'm kind of fearing, um, I'm gonna do a bit of a niche play here, but <coughs> I kind of fear him to be solar power, or power herb, um, solar beam. So I think he's gonna switch out to your side. Okay, cool. I don't believe Scrafty was the scariest play, but hey, we did it. Ringing Erasure and... Um, I mean, we cannot taunt again, don't we? Um, no, close count, we get as much damage as possible. As I think... If Celestial comes in, he gets like a good chunk of damage onto it. If Rodo comes in, then you know we have one small benefit, uh, and as it will get wielded down, uh, Mustang. Yeah, there we go. Back to the Salazzle. Don't like this guy all that much. Close combat does. Yeah, it does right. I'm not worried. A lot. Black Sludge. Okay, cool. Um, the lower defenses aren't helping. Uh, <laughs> I guess we bring him back to Troya, right? No, Necromedusa. Um, <clears throat> so not Power Herb Solar Beam. I was kind of fearing like a combination of Nasty Plot with Power Herb Solar Beam and Sludge Wave and Fire Blast because it does pressure me somewhat. Or somewhat, it does pressure me a lot, actually. Um, I'll say he stays in. So Sludge Bomb, maybe? Playing for war. Cool. That was alright. Black Sludge is kind of up there. There is no way he stays into this though, right? So I should Will-O-Wisp. 
We'll just Shadow Ball. Get that neutral hit going. Yeah, let's do that. I've only seen Flamethrower so far on it, which is kind of um, kind of boring. Your side, all right. And that did nothing. Do I have a golden opportunity to um, wisp him here? Because his best play should be power whip or spikes. Stays in, we connect the Will-O-Wisp. We know it has Jara Ball. I think that's the only thing we do know. And Stealth Rocks, there we go. So we're a little through here. So this is, you know, the stalemate, I guess. Um, we we'll go for Shadow Ball again. Uh, I want to see if it has Power Whip or if it has, like, Spikes. Uh, worse off Leech Seed, right? That's kind of something I don't want to see. There we go. That's not annoying. Um... <laughs> Um, setting an erasure again. Um, who's the lead seed? I want to see protect. Well, I guess we gotta find out here. Um, power whip. Okay, cool. Then it's not of a big of a threat as um, again it's still close combat here, right? <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, he switched out again at least. And we see Mustang, right? So we're bringing this guy kind of down. Um, things that I don't know how obvious I want to be. But... I mean, Rapier is kind of a play here, and I think Rotom comes in if he's really smart. Yeah, there we go. I think, like I said, Rotom should be the play. I really, really, really wanted to. Ah, oh, cool. Halucha. That's alright. We have Shuffleberry here, so I think we are in a good spot. We used to take one hit at least. Let's go for an ice punch. Substitute. Okay, cool. All kinds of things here. I really want to go for a metal burst, but yeah, I, I'm not man enough. 
Yeah, he switches out. Of course he does. I, I would too. This is this is not what you want to see. <laughs> right, cool. To your side. Did all right. Um. I think I'm doing this now. I want to get my HP back before this gets really rough. As we know, has has doesn't have knockoff, which is good for us. The leeches, so that's kind of nasty. But yeah, he can't do anything versus this, which is good. I'll take more opportunity here to rest off. He could stay in, I guess, go for Jarrow Ball. But that's possibly only going to benefit me in the long run. Um, so resting here. At least we know how Lucha is not able to... Um, let's see, brings in that barge. Cool. That Ferrophone is just getting kind of nastier and nastier on me. I really couldn't tell you much much else. Yeah, this Rotom is, you know, a handful. Um, Because here should the Volt Switch come, right? It's back to Therapon. <laughs> oh, it's so passive. Like, this was something that's really worrying me as, you know, I had no real lead way of... Oh, this, this does bother me. This does absolutely bother me. Um... Here's the Volt Switch, I knew it. Alright, I need to call myself a little bit because I'm getting I'm getting frustrated over how good defensively this team is versus me. And uh, I just simply can't get I can't get inside is basically what I'm trying to say. Because that Pokemon is not a threat to me. Which is kind of funny. He should always lead seat here, however. It's all about him bringing in Lucha, basically, and... Um, you know, getting that play right. Um, if I were him, I'd probably just keep on switching out, in and out, basically. See, there's a lead seed. This time I think I'm gonna crunch. Jesus Christ, I forgot to PP up my close combats. <laughs> Alright, um, switch out yet again to uh, Mustang, and uh, we won't knock him out this time either, which is going to be frustrating. But we're closing in. At least he can't take another close combat this time. But I'm wasting clearly my oh Jesus okay, he can, he can, it's not right. It's no issue here.
kind of want to see my opponent's timer. At this point, you know, we're starting to feel if none of us can make an offensive, um, like, backbone play, then, you know, what what will happen? So let's see. Did he stay in this time? Uh, because if so, I'll go for Strength Sap. Nasty plot. Nice. I do believe I go for um, Strength Sap here anyway, actually. My opponent is down to two minutes. That is not good. I have six minutes left. Substitute. Wow. Well, great. Will strength that fail? Yeah, it fails. It fails all right. Shadow Balling done. Um, keeps nasty plotting. I really hope my Shadow Ball breaks the sub. <sighs> I'm feeling my stress levels. Yay, it's also faded. Um, I'm a sitting duck now, aren't I? I mean, it's resisted. Plus four resisted. Oh, stop! No. <laughs> All right. It's fair. Um, I mean, I could have considered bringing in this to Troy, but at that point, oh, I don't know. And this time, I need to high school crash. And it should be definitely enough to KO. There we go. Slazzle's out. See Darm. So he has Brown Song or Ferrophon. Chinchino, clearly Rotom, which is an absolute beast right now. And uh, he's gonna get his free volt switch. But that, at this point it won't matter. Um But I really can't beat this Rotom. It's it's straining on me. And I can't lose Whimsy Card. There is your side. Now the only perk I have now, and that's the real perk. That is that I do believe a bronze song. If I get up a body or an iron defense, then I should be close to golden. Shouldn't be anything left to beat Bronsong. We'll see what I do. Lead scene, yeah, that's correct play.
right, switches out, goes to Rotom. Yeah, there we go. Body press. I think he'll go for either a hydro pump or more likely volt switch. Hex. Ah, that'll do some damage. Let's see. And body press does good chunk. So it did 40. So yeah, I need to rest. That was bad. Don't want to take any more risks there. There's a the hexplate, nothing to it. And the burn will take me out. No, I actually survived, yeah, cool. But I have no switching left, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna tailwind. I think his play should be to switch out to Ferrothorn. This is not looking good. Um, if he leads it here, you know, more power to him. But I think it wants to knock me out. Right, more power to him. Let's hope I can survive these rounds of damage. I'm not sure I will. Oh, I did. That was scary. So, free rest. And he will get a free Lucha. Alright, I did not think he would make that play. I did not think he would make that play. Cool. Says it can't hex kill me. I mean, what's the play? All right, it's I want to leave him in if I can. Oh, I actually decided to hex. Cool. Oh, bringing erasure and um, and we taunt. I think willow and. Um, I mean, at this point, um, there we go. At this point, I'm playing it really, really, really badly. Or not badly, but... Basically, he's playing for the timer. Or he's playing to beat the timer, I'm playing to the timer. If I win or lose here, I'm just gonna say the obvious part. 
and that is that uh, my opponent deserve to win this, as I think he was inherently a lot better than me here. As I had nothing left for this Rotom, besides stalling out the turns, that is. And uh, I feel very dirty for it. Absolutely. There we go. Oof. I mean, it's def like I'm being beaten here. I think once, once this game is settled, we need to kind of talk, um, like how we should go about this. Because no matter what I do for now, I'm gonna lose anyway. Uh, I'm like I'm sort of been really quiet. I'm just trying to level with myself. You know what I do. Like my opponent clearly wins this game, even though I quote beat the timer, I guess. <sighs> but if right should be right, then my opponent deserved this win. Like there is, I can't beat him. At this point, there is no way for me of beating this whatsoever. So yeah, um, I'll fill you guys out, you know, once this game is over, as there is just no way. His timer will go out any any time now, and uh, like, yeah, <sighs> yeah, whatever, um, we gotta talk about this. I think um, I want to leave myself with a loss of... 4-3. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I feel you guys in once this battle is over, but if the thing goes as I think, then my opponent should get this victory 4-3 no matter what. That's it though. No, as always, take care of everything for watching. Really sorry for that bad game. Um, this defensive core really worked very well against me, and uh, my opponent got it right. He did well. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to fill you in on the result itself. Now, there's no doubt my opponent here would have won this game. It would have it ended with a full free in his favor. However, due to the rule set of the league, I'm actually getting a free full victory. So I'm getting a minus one but win the game. And if I weren't in the running for playoff, I wouldn't have taken it. But I do now. And to top early one is saying, there is no doubt that between us that you had this match hands down and I'm not gonna like disregard that I had no way of turning this battle around and you were really aware of that and the timer is a bitch and this is the second game where the the timer was a factor so uh, that's something that really starts to frustrate me with this generation as it does strain on how to play well and uh, if you are on the defensive matchup actually doing it right and still be punished by losing because of the timer is awful I'm not a complete fan of it now with that said you know we'll take this victory and um, basically what we need now because we're only one more opponent uh, we need to win or at least not lose too big and we should be golden um, I'm right now I believe 4-2 with a positive record and yeah so far I we are all in 4-2 so it's really scary. Only Vips is uh, one of my opponents that I faced off the last two is guaranteed playoff. The other ones, it, it's all about winning. And uh, we gotta be a part of that. So with that said, as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And take care, everyone.